Big names in the global equine industry are in Dubai for the 10th Dubai International Horse Fair and 11th Dubai International Arabian Horse Championship at the Dubai World Trade Center. The Horse Championship is the most prestigious beauty competition for purebred Arabian horses, attracting everyone from the very young to the elderly statesmen of the Arabian equine world. The Middle East's largest Arabian equestrian event provides a lucrative trade platform for equine industry as it brings together owners, breeders, stables, clubs, veterinarians, as well as professional and leisure riders. This attracts breeders and owners and also jockeys from all over the world. Of course, UAE is the center of uh, horse racing in the, uh, in the area. Al Maktoum's Maktoum family has been the center of the horse racing in the world. Today, the biggest owners are the Maktoum's. They are actually the best knowledgeable people in racing and in horse breeding in the whole world actually because they, they have their own school. An estimated 400 horses from 21 countries and 5 continents will be competing in the event which boasts a record price fund of 4.6 million US dollars. The event takes place over three days culminating in the championship classes for the most exquisite horses. The Dubai International Arabian Horse Championship started in spectacular fashion with some of the world's finest and prized purebred Arabian show horses in action. It's the uh, actual the breeding and also the training. So when you break the horse being one year old, the food, uh, the vitamins, but besides all this, the breeding is the best. Yes, it depends on the training side. Each trainer has his own way. Sometimes you can see that the horse has certain disability, even if he is good breeding, then the training. Good trainer can produce good horse. This year, the Dubai International Horse Fair has recorded an 11% increase in exhibitors and hosts more than 200 companies and brands from different countries including Australia, Canada, Egypt, Germany, India, Netherlands, New Zealand, Oman, Saudi Arabia, South Africa, Portugal, the UK, and US. France, Iran, Spain, Sweden, Switzerland, and Tanzania are participating for the first time this year. Irish Eden Belieza for Gulf News. Thank <laughs> you.